In this video, I'm going to try and explain why you can't make the stair steps longer when you're dealing with tight spaces. And I've made plenty of videos like this before, but I'm just going to give it another shot because I had someone request this recently. So here goes. I'm going to try it again. If I have a step that's nine inches, then there's a very good chance I can make it 10 inches but I'm not going to change the length of the step in reference to the measurements required for the building codes. So let me see if I can provide you with a couple of examples here. Here we have a nine inch step, nine inch step, and the riser is seven and a half inches, even though that's not important. Now, if we add an inch to that, then we're now going to have a 10 inch wide step. And if I add another inch and a half to that, I'm going to have an 11 and a half inch step. And that's going to work out better when you're going up the stairs. You're going to have more room for larger feet. So here we have about an 11 and a half inch step with an undercut. And it's obviously going to be a little bit deeper, again, providing you with more room to put your feet on when you're going up the stairs. However, that's not going to be the case when you're walking down the stairs. And I think this is the reason why the building code is framed that way. So again, you're going to have a little easier time going up the stairs than you will be going down the stairs. So here I have the two stairways. And if I remove the extension to create the undercut, which is basically an overhang, I'm going to end up with this. You can see where we're going here. But I get it, you might not be able to see where we're going here. So let's go ahead and take a look at the one with the two inch nosing on it. So again, I've got this much depth and I can tuck my feet underneath the nosing here to step on this step here. However, that's not going to be the case when I'm going down the stairs. I'm still going to have a nine inch step. Next up, let me draw some lines in here to see if this will make a little more sense with our nine inch step. So here I have nine inches for the depth of each step with a one inch nosing or one inch overhang. However, I'm not positioned in the same way that I would have if I didn't have a nosing on it. So to fix this, all I would need to do would be to move the layout measurements forward one inch or leave the measurements where they are and then move the stairway back to where the front of the nosing lines up with the measurements that we need for our floor plan layout. And if I use the stairway design with the longer nosing, then all I need to do is move that back a little bit further. And the reason why I'm showing you this is to provide you with an example of how you can actually add a nosing or an undercut and rebuild the entire stairway to make it easier walking up the stairs. However, it's not going to change anything when you're walking down the stairs. You're not going to take your feet and turn them around, or at least I wouldn't think you would. However, you could if that's going to make it safer for you to walk down a stairway with smaller steps. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out some of our other videos on YouTube. And if you can't find the videos on YouTube, make sure that you visit our website to find a complete organized list of all of the videos we've made so far.